guys, how are you? So what I wanted to show you today, again in the kitchen, was uh, a nice little hack about the, um, the dishcloth. Okay, so this is a much longer one compared to the kitchen cloth. Okay, and as you can see through the light that's coming through it, it is the ribbed one, right? Because it's made to pick up a lot of the crumbs. And what I love about it is that it dries much more quickly. So between meals, you can reuse them and uh, know that the backlog is taking effect. So that micro silver that's killing all the bacteria. And so with this bigger and longer cloth, obviously used to clean, uh, sorry, to dry your dishes and does an amazing job while it's dry. Um, your wine glasses will never have looked so shiny uh, before using this cloth. But now what I wanted to show you is everybody knows how to dry with a dishcloth, so I'm not gonna show you that, but what I'm gonna show you is that this actually dries um, your dishes while it's wet. So you can see it's a little bit heavier. It's a little bit darker than it usually is. Um, usually it's more like this color here on the ribbing. So. If you've been drying a lot of things, or if you're like my husband, you use it to actually wipe the countertops. It drives me crazy, but because it's Norwax, I don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm going to use this plastic bowl to show you how um, this wet cloth will still dry it. So let me angle this like this. So I'm going to wet it so that you can see that, you know, that it is wet. Again, I'm just using cold or lukewarm water. I mean, it doesn't really matter because you're not cleaning anything, you're just wiping. And your water's gonna be cold anyway. So I'm just gonna wring it out because obviously you want to maximize how much drying power it will have. And I forget what the number is, but I think this cloth can absorb up to like three times its weight in water. So that just gives you an idea of how absorbent it is. So even while it does have water in it, it will still absorb, so let's see. So that's pretty wrung out. Now let's wet this clear bowl because obviously clear will show you a lot better if there's water left over. So I've just cleaned that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we can even say, oh, I've left it out on my Norwex drying uh, mat for a little bit, like maybe a second, and I'm done all my dishes. Now I'm going back and I'm going to dry everything by hand. Or maybe somebody was there drying for you, which would be awesome. In my case, not so much, because I have kids and uh, we need to entertain them. So, my cloth is super wet because I've been cleaning and wiping. I'm gonna make sure to get into all the nooks and crannies. There we go. And so with this wet drying dishcloth, I have dried my dishes and I could keep going and keep drying everything else. And as soon as we get saturated again, you could just take it, wring it back out, and let's see if there's anything. See, and there's even some water left. I don't know if you saw that coming out of there. Right, like there's still water coming out of this. So you can see how saturated it is. Absolutely amazing. Um, if you're going camping and you only have a cloth, you know, that you wanna to bring to dry your dishes, this is the cloth to bring. I mean, it's going to dry super well once you're done, and all the bacteria is gonna be cleaned out of it anyways. Uh, so you know that reusing it is going to not be a problem and then you can hang it to dry so I can show you where I hang mine So some of my cloths I dry here I have little hooks and this is my mop pad that I have there and I'll dry this like this because in the morning Sun comes in and hits this wall perfectly or I have a little rack on my or a little bar here on my counter or my cabinet door so this little bar here that I bought from I think it was from Dollarama or something like that and so I keep my shiny hand towel so that my daughter can also dry her hand on here and hang this guy on here or you can hang it on your stove top or any other um, surface you can also or not surface uh, holding bar or hook or sometimes I do hang it onto my uh, knobs, but usually it hangs out here. And there you go. How to use the drying cloth, your dish drying cloth, while it's still wet. See you next time.